Hi, this is Gary with MacBoast.com. Let me show you a new feature of macOS 15.2 that lets you link directly to text on a web page. So there's a new feature in macOS 15.2 that Apple really doesn't mention anywhere, but it's something I'm particularly excited about. Previously, of course, you can send a link to a web page just by copying the URL and then sending it in an email, a text message, however you like. You can even use the share button here and you can share it in a variety of different ways. But this new feature allows you to not only link to a web page, but it will highlight a particular piece of text on that page and the person receiving the link will see that highlight. So for instance, let's take this page here and select this text. And let's say I want to send somebody a link to this page, but I want them to see this text. And I don't want to have to tell them, look in the first paragraph for these words and all of that. I just want them to be able to see a highlight that shows them this text. So with this selected, I can control click on it, two finger click on a trackpad or right click on a mouse. And then I get the context menu. I have a copy right there, which will copy the text itself. But there's also now copy link with highlight. When I do that, what I'm going to get is a very different thing. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2,000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Here's what I copied if I paste it into a text document. You can see there, there's the link to the website and then the particular page. But after that, you could see these symbols right here and then text equals. And then there's the text that I selected. These little characters here represent a space in a way that you can use it in a URL. If I put a space there, then the URL would end right here. But using this kind of represents a space without actually having a space in the text. So if I were to send somebody this text and they were to click on the link, then it would go to that page, just like I'm pasting it in here. And this is what they would see. It would load that page up and you could see how the text that was selected flashes there and it remains highlighted even after the flash is gone. So I could send somebody a link and they could have a way to see exactly the part of the text that I want them to see. Now let's say I wanna send this kind of link. So I'm gonna select some text like this and I'm going to copy link with highlight. Now in the Messages app, I'm going to paste this in and notice how the Messages app is smart enough not only to send the link as kind of a little preview there, but it even puts in quotes the text there. So they will see the quoted text in the message and I'll send it to them. This is what they'll see. And when they click on it, then you could see it goes to the web page like this and highlights the text just like before. Now, when it comes to the internet, this isn't a new thing and it's not an Apple thing. This has actually been around for a while and other browsers have supported it. So for instance, here I am in Google Chrome and it's had the functionality for a long time to do this in the same way. And you get a link that not only works here in Chrome like that, but also works if you were to use it in Safari. So the way that these URLs are formed isn't something new and has been around for a while. As a matter of fact, it has worked in Safari to use one of these links for a while as well. So in the last few years, it's actually one of the things I've used Google Chrome for on my Mac was to make these links very easily. And then when I send it to somebody, I know that they could see it, even if they're using Safari that doesn't allow them to make these links. But now you can make the links in Safari as well as Chrome and other browsers. Note that when you have a particularly long piece of text like this, and you go to use it, it will still work. But if you take a look at the code, it's going to have the beginning and the end of that, not all of the text there in the middle. So it's smart enough to make these URLs in a way that they'll never get too long. So now if I were to paste that link into say mail, you could see it appears there. It even will do the little summer here, including all that text. I can convert it to a plain link you can see that the link is still pretty short. And if I were to open that link, like if the recipient were to just click on it, you can see it highlights all that text. 
even though it just includes the beginning and the end to identify the text range. And this works in iOS 18.2 as well. So I can select uh, text here on a web page in Safari like this. And if I look through the menu that appears there, I could see that one of the options there now is copy link with highlight. I can copy that. And no matter where I would look at that link, whether it's on the iPhone or Mac or a Windows machine, whatever it was, as long as the browser supports these highlight links, then I would see the highlight. So it's not platform specific. And like with older versions of Mac OS, you can see these highlight links in older versions of iOS. It's just that now on iOS 18.2, you can create them in Safari as well. So the next time you need to send a link to somebody and there's a particular part of the page that you want to point out to them, use this feature to send them right to that text. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.